Can we talk about the latest MCU installment without sparking an AI debate? I mean, is it not? Let's dive in, but hey, watch your language. YouTube's listening. Welcome to the post-Endgame MCU era, Phase 4 and beyond. The Marvels. Captain Marvel, Monica Rambeau and Miss Marvel unite. Swapping powers. But is this a groundbreaking mechanic or a high-budget flop? Initially, the swap concept felt indie film fun in a massive MCU package. But then the second trailer screamed generic big-budget space adventure. Conflicting vibes, huh? Props to Iman Vellani as Kamala Khan. She stole the show. Her charisma beams through. It's the film's heart. Monica Carroll connection. Meh. It's there, but the movie's flaws overshadow it. The villain? Dollar Store Roman vibes. Little depth, more baddie antics. The CGI? Noticeable, especially in action scenes. Side quests? Silly, out of place, and distracting. Because someone stumbles, loses their way, it doesn't mean they're lost forever. Just because someone stumbles and loses their way doesn't mean they're lost forever. So what's this movie about? A baddie doing baddie things. Simple plot, no captivating punch. MCU, take a breather, regroup and come back stronger. Aman Vellani, you're the shining star here. Seen the Marvels? Share your take. What's your least favorite MCU film or villain? Drop a comment below. And if you crave more content, click right here.